Hi, my name is Kemi Salola. I'm an independent singer-songwriter and artist. My music is a range of genres, I'd say. It's mainly soul and R&B rooted though, but has elements of pop, bit of reggae, bit of hip hop. Um, and sometimes just like alternative, just like piano based music. I've got the track up, which is a beat that I've been had for a while actually, but I just, as I said, like I just need that moment. It either is going to come to me or I just need to talk to myself. So I think I've come to a point where I need to just sit down and really force it to come up. When people listen to my music, I want them to know that I'm just a normal person, whatever that means, I think. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I just want to share music about my life experience, but not also myself, um, about other people's as well. Um, like there's a song I have called You Don't Know, and that's kind of talking about you don't know what people come from. And I use two perspectives of like, just two random characters that I made up, but I'm sure they relate to someone. So yeah, it's about telling my story, but telling others as well. I think I shaped my music um, because I kind of was, well, when I was younger, I suppose the music would shape me, but then as I've gotten older and interpret things my own way then I kind of shape how I want the music to be so it's a bit of both I think. So I'm just going to listen to it first. I want it to be called Dancing on My Own and the idea is just about you're just going to be what's the word like free and not really thinking about other, what other people are thinking so I just want to be dancing on the floor and just doing my thing and you know being free so that's what it's about. Um, so I'm just going to listen to it first and write down the structure of the song and that's the first thing I kind of like to do. So obviously this is like an intro. It's amazing. When I think of like topics and subjects of the music, um, that definitely comes from the life around me. So something I may have watched a few days ago or something someone said that stuck in my head. But when I think of the melodies of songwriting, sometimes that literally comes from nowhere. Like I'll just be sitting somewhere and a melody will come to my head. I have to get my phone and record it quickly. So honestly, not to sound too like airy fairy whatever, but I really believe that comes from God. Like when you just get that melody idea that just comes from nowhere and it, you've not heard it before, it's kind of like something beyond you. It's just like past you and you have to create it and develop it. So I'm saying it's possibly the place I want to be. So the pre-course is kind of like describing this place where it's just like free and it's bright and it's nice and you can be yourself and then the circle the course there. It's possibly a place I want to be for sure. I just want to be, I want to be dancing on the floor. It's only me and one in front of me. <laughs> Sometimes I might be really inspired in that moment and I get the melody show, I get the words and I can record it really quickly. Other times, it's probably myself that can get in the way of the music or I overthink, I'm, I know I want to say it like this and then I just need to give it time and you know, that's a good thing because sometimes I think you need to naturally let the song come but sometimes it could just be, you have to sit down and say, okay, I'm just going to write this now and it's going to be completed. So yeah, it depends on the song. I try and let the song do its thing first, but I also want to give myself responsibility to complete it um, and not be too like, you know, airy fairy with it and then it just never gets complete. So I'm still not sure on this, but I've got the chorus, I think, and the chorus is going to be... I think I need that alone time um, and quiet time to really get those thoughts out because I think it's great to be inspired by the things around you um, but sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming and then you can never really say it because you're just experiencing it constantly so once you've experienced it you need to take that time to reflect on what you've taken and then you know be able to put that into music. I want to say something about control but I've got too many words for the melody. Let me just write the word down. 
I'll still write it down in case it run. No control, no restrictions, freedom. Freedom, joy. And the next one, like. I don't want to be too wordy though. That's another thing I'm always doing. I'm trying to make it less wordy. And the pre chorus, where I talk about what I'm doing. Does music help you learn more about yourself? More about myself? That's a really good question. Usually, you know, it'd be like, oh, does it help you learn about the world? But about myself, I suppose so, yeah, in different ways. Like, it might test, you know, not necessarily my character, but what I want to say sometimes. And sometimes the song wants to go somewhere, but sometimes I'm like, actually, that's not really me. So then I'll be like, okay, maybe this song's not for me. So um, it does kind of tell me about myself and what I want to represent. So, yeah, that's a really cool question. It's possibly the place I want to be for sure. I just want to be, want to be dancing on the floor. It's only me, no one in front of me. I'm secure. I just want to be, want to be dancing on my own. I think growing up in London and being exposed to different communities and also just my within my family then playing different types of music and the way the internet is now where you can you know relate to someone all the way in India or all the way in Australia do you know what I mean so I do feel like those influences worldwide um, are there but also just learn the culture that I'm in from you know my race to you know the things that I might do with my family or my faith even would influence the type of music that I listen to when I'm writing, I might have, not necessarily like, oh, I want these people to feel it, but I just want someone, and I don't know necessarily who that someone is going to be, but it's, I suppose it's open to to anyone. So I suppose I kind of write like that. Living my life, I just want to live it right. Knowing there's no certain way, and what I choose to But I kind of just see it like storytelling, so I want to tell the story. And I think as long as the story's told well, whoever's hears that story, they'll relate to it if they're supposed to relate to it. So. Yeah, it's about the story first, I think, and then it becomes to the people. But I suppose if it was for a certain cause, like someone's like, oh, I need you to write a, I don't know, a song for my son's birthday, then I'm going to be obviously really trying to target to them. But generally, I just try to make it about the story first and wherever that should go. So for the song's sake, basically. Only me, no one in front of me, I'm secure. I just want to be only me dancing on the floor.